Hey everybody, this is Dale with Networking Step by Step, and in today's video cheat sheet, we're going to be configuring a full mesh of IBGP peers. Let's see what we've done so far. We've enabled BGP throughout our network. We've hard coded the BGP router IDs. We've originated prefixes into BGP using various methods. We've configured a single eBGP peer between autonomous systems, and also a single iBGP peer within an autonomous system. So let's look at how you configure a full mesh of iBGP peers. The green lines represent a BGP adjacency. If it's within an autonomous system, that is an iBGP adjacency. A full mesh is just that. Every iBGP speaker talks BGP to every other iBGP speaker. So router 2 has an adjacency to 3, 5, 6, and 4. Also, 3 has an adjacency with 2, 4, 5, and 6. And as you can see, this goes on and on until you get the full mesh that you need throughout your autonomous system. Now, you may be asking yourself, why a full mesh? Well, there's an excellent explanation of it in the configuration guide, so I recommend you look at that. But uh, I'll give you a hint. It's loop prevention. Okay, so let's configure a full mesh. So I typed in show IP BGP sum, and as you can tell, we don't have any adjacencies yet because we haven't configured them. So let's also look at what we have in our BGP routing table. And through all the routers, uh, we originated some prefixes earlier in another video cheat sheet originating prefixes. And so right now, the only thing in the BGP table is what's locally on the router. So basically, you only need one command to configure a adjacency with BGP. Now we're using two commands because this is a best practice. We're telling router 2 that it's going to peer with this IP address which is the loopback of router 3 within autonomous system 1. Router 2 is also in autonomous system 1 so this makes it an iBGP relationship and it's trying to peer with the loopback of router 3. Also we're telling router 2 that when you try to peer with router 3 you need to use your loopback address as the update source for this peering adjacency and we went over this in great detail when we brought up a single IBGP peer in that video cheat sheet so if you don't remember that I recommend that uh, you go back and, and review that so let's go ahead and configure our IBGP full mesh using our loopback address as our update source. Now once again remember full mesh is, is just that. I don't, don't want to beat a dead horse but uh, every single IBGP speaking router has to talk to every other IBGP speaking router. And we'll finish up here with router 6. And as you can see, some adjacencies are already starting to come up. So let's go back and look at router 2. Remember earlier we typed in the show IP BGP sum and the show IP BGP. Hopefully we've given it enough time. And as you can tell, we've already got an but there you go. We've got our neighbor adjacency to 4, 3, 5, and 6 already up, but we'll go ahead and go through the exercise of putting in the commands. There you go. Router 2 has an adjacency. It's up. It's been up for several seconds now to 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we've also learned some, uh, some prefixes here. Remember earlier all we had was what was local. And here's the prefix that we had earlier that was local. And now we've also got 33.33.33 from router 3. And also the prefixes from routers 4, 5, and 6. So that is how you configure a full mesh of IBGP peers. Once again, these, these videos are supposed to be fast and hard hitting and just giving you just enough information uh, to get them up and running. If you want more details, you can go back and look at the configuration guide. Hopefully this will save you some time so you can spend time with your family or whatever hobbies you may have.